Amid the festive allure of holiday feasts, a segment of individuals faces gastrointestinal distress mere moments post-dinner, often consulting a gastroenterologist soon thereafter. Dr. Daniel Davila, a gastrointestinal surgeon at Northwestern University Feinberg School of Medicine, says he observes this seasonal gallbladder ailment phenomenon, notably post-Thanksgiving. Predominantly, this pertains to gallstone maladies, a not-so-rare condition, especially within the American demographic. Such ailments frequently stem from high-fat culinary indulgences. Dr. Daniel Davila says, especially after Thanksgiving, it's not uncommon for us to see patients coming in to see us because the Thanksgiving meal, which often is fatty, has precipitated either new or worsening symptoms related to gallstones. Gallstones, comprising cholesterol or bilirubin, vary in size from minuscule granules to objects rivaling golf balls. The gallbladder may harbor a solitary stone or a multitude, differing in dimensions and constitution, they are prevalent in advanced nations. Those predisposed to gallstones encompass females with elevated estrogen levels, the elderly, and individuals with familial predispositions. Its manifestations mimic conditions like ulcers, appendicitis, pancreatitis, and gastroesophageal reflux disease. Here are some tips to combat gallbladder ailments this holiday season. Drink warm water with lemon in the morning to stimulate the digestive system, take digestive enzymes, consuming bitters, such as arugula, before each meal, eat beets, which is associated with better bile flow, drink lots of water, and eat healthy fat. Avoid seed oils and use avocado, coconut, olive, sesame and macadamia nut oils, and grass-fed organic animal fats. Even if your gallbladder is struggling, you want to eat good fats, that's what's going to trigger bile release, so if there's sludge and that sort of thing going on, it's going to push it through. Please like and share and thanks for watching.